Hi y'all, so welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a haul video of some things that I picked up when my mom and I went shopping. Probably it's been like three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. It's been a little while. I've been so engulfed with other videos that I've been filming and I had not gotten around to filming this one. So don't forget before you click off this video to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell, and yeah, I want to jump into this video. So it is going to be a Sephora and Ulta haul. I went to both places. So I'm going to start with my Sephora bag first and I went there because I was given a uh, Sephora gift card for Christmas from my boyfriend so I was wanting to go and spend it and get some things and one of the things I had been eyeing that I had really wanted was this Dominique Cosmetics The Celestial Storm eyeshadow palette. And since it has been a while since I uh, purchased this, it's been a few weeks like I said, I have used this palette I think a couple times and I really have enjoyed it even though it doesn't really look like I've used it. But I have used it and I really do enjoy this palette. I really like her formula. We just got the Sweater Weather palette by her in our Ipsy box and she has really good formula and I really enjoy it. Here's what the palette looks like up close. I also got these two Sephora Stories eyeshadow palettes. I didn't even know that Sephora carried eyeshadow palettes like what they I know that they had the Lip Stories, but I didn't ever realize that they had Sephora Stories like I just didn't realize that that was a thing because at my Sephora they don't carry the Sephora Story eyeshadow palettes, I carry the Sephora Story lip products. But I went into the, I went on into the city to go to a different Sephora because they have way better selection. So the first Sephora Story one, oh, it's called Caffeine Please. And it's really cute. The packaging is like, it's like coffee mugs. And then you open it up like this. And it has, it has six eyeshadows in it. Three of them are shimmers and three of them are mattes. And the fun thing about this is, is it has little eye looks down here on this little cardboard. Which, even though I'm good at makeup, I do appreciate this, like, a lot. Because even some days, I'm just like, ugh, what can I do today? And I appreciate, like, an eye look that's right there. They'd be like, hey, do this. So I got this one that's called Caffeine Please, and then this one is called Fresh Florals. This one has all kinds of plants on the front, and so you open it up the same, and there are the shades, and it ha and also has an eye look. And these shades are so good, guys. Like, I feel like I discovered a little hidden jewel. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. So here are some of the swatches. It These shades are so good and so pigmented. And I feel like I have never once seen anyone talk about these eyeshadow palettes. Why hasn't anyone been talking about this on YouTube? Like, these are so good. So, and there is one more in the Sephora Stories line. And I did think about going ahead and getting it, and I probably will, just because these are only 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Like, this is drugstore price. So, I highly recommend picking these up. See, the next thing I got is one of these Sephora Stories lip, lip products. It's in the shade Sink or Swim, and it has some really cute packaging as well. It's like these little floaties. It's so cute. And it's just a really pretty, like, mauve color. But, like, whenever you swatch it, it's more of, like, a metallic. It's so pretty. I got two things from Fenty. I got the new Fenty mascara and one of the Fenty um, eye pencils. 
I got it in the shade She's She a Problem. I got these two Fenty products and then the Anastasia. This is like her like nude lip set, which my mom had actually got this and she was wearing one of the shades when we were out and about and I was like, oh mom, are you wearing that <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills lip that lipstick and I think I said I think I got you got it in that set and she wasn't sure and I was like oh, I think so and sure enough it was and I was like I have to get that it's so pretty on you and so I got it so that is everything I got from Sephora now let's move in to Ulta so I picked up the new Morphe 35i ice fancy eyeshadow palette this has been released a little while so it's not too new to the game but I actually have not used this yet so if you guys would like a tutorial with it um, I would like to uh, do a tutorial for you guys it does have some really like this like screams Easter to me it's so pretty I really love all these colors and I don't even own like a light pastel palette except for the new Dominique Cosmetics palette that's kind of a pastel it has pastel colors in it so I got that and then I got I got these two Makeup Revolution liquid lipsticks they're like this like they're part of like the ch these this like cherry line. I don't know. It's called Vinyl Cherry. I got two shades. One is called Cherry Aid, and the other one is called Cherry Bakewell. Um. They have a light. Did I just get that on my nose? I don't know. They have like a light cherry scent. Nothing too strong. I wish it was a little stronger, cause like it's just. It's really faint, but the shades are really pretty. I got like a kind of more of a pinky red one and then one that is more of like a nude like mauvey tone shade. So those are the two lipsticks I got. And then I picked up this new Milani highlighter duo it's in 120 power up here's what it looks like it's just like a really pretty uh, champagne looking highlighter it's really pretty they're just really pretty like champagne -y gold shade and then I got a backup of my NYX um, brow pencil in the shade chocolate and this was back before I had colored my hair black so I'm probably going to need to get, um, maybe I'll just take this in and get a different, like a couple of shades darker because, um, I've been using my, uh, Iconic London Brow Cushion and I got that in a BoxyCharm and it is pretty dark and I've been using that on my brows. I haven't really been using my NYX pencil. So I might need to just take this in and exchange it for a darker shade. But yeah, that is going to be it for my Ulta and Sephora haul, guys. Um, if you want me to do any type of tutorials with any of these products, with any of these products, let me know. I would love to. And don't forget before you leave to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell because I upload every Monday and Friday, 8 a.m., and occasionally a Wednesday bonus video. And also, don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye y'all, thanks for watching. So check out my Instagram pages at Colorful Gidget or my new brand at Spunky Scrunchies. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, click the circular icon in the middle. Or if you haven't seen my most recent or another favorite of mine, click the one on the top right or the bottom right.